And terror experts say they suspect the attackers may be so-called homegrown terrorists. French citizens perhaps inspired by radical Islamic groups like ISIL or Al-Qaeda. And as we've reported, ISIL has encouraged Western Muslims to carry out missions dubbed Lone Jihad. CCTV's Nathan King explains. Even before Wednesday's deadly shootings in Paris, concerns have been growing among Western nations about radically inspired Islamic militants. A former CIA director called homegrown terrorism the most serious threat facing Americans. Some examples of homegrown inspired attacks include last month's deadly siege in Sydney, Australia, in a cafe which left two hostages and the self-proclaimed Sheikh gunman dead. And a former French fighter with links to ISIL is suspected of opening fire at a Jewish museum in Brussels last May, killing four. In March, a knife-wielding gang of militants attacked people at Kunming railway station in China, killing 29 and wounding 130. And two al-Qaeda-inspired terrorists killed a British soldier on the streets of London in May 2013. Jihadist groups have tried to encourage lone radical sympathisers in Western nations and elsewhere to carry out violence. This image was put out in an English-language propaganda ISIL newsletter. A Western Muslim sits praying, flanked by a pressure cooker with the skyline of New York in the background. Western security officials admit these types of plots are difficult to uncover. They have also been worried about radicalised citizens joining the war in Syria and returning to plot attacks at home. According to a study by a security consulting firm, the Sufan Group, there have been more than 700 French citizens fighting in Syria at one time or another. A UN Security Council resolution was recently passed aimed at trying to stem the flow of fighters to and from conflicts like Syria. In response to the Paris shootings, the UN says this is a global fight. This is a moment for solidarity around the world. We must stand strong for freedom of expression and tolerance and stand against the forces of division and hate. But stopping these attacks is not easy. In a 2007 report, the New York Police Department said attackers often have little criminal history. They're usually educated, middle-class citizens who are often recent converts to Islam. Homegrown terrorists are difficult to detect until after they strike. Nathan King, CCTV, Washington.